All right, Keith, nil all draw against Shells last week. You were obviously suspended, but what did you make of the game from the stands? Um, I think we started to grow wind for probably after the first 10, 15 minutes. Um, Shells started games really quick, so um, I think when we read it that a little bit, we grew into it and grew with confidence, and probably the half probably came too early for us in the end. Yeah, it's the longest game, it's the longest run we've got without a win this season. But I'm sure as captain, you can see the positives and the and how we're trying to play, and that if we keep trying to do that, we'll get we'll get those results. Yeah, if you compare it to the start of the year, um, probably haven't been playing as on the eye as good, but we're getting results at the start of the year. But now we're trying to gel it all together. Again, it is a new squad. Um, players have been coming out and playing different positions with injuries, so hopefully now we have a fully fit squad for the upcoming games. So the next three games are big. Yeah, you say that there, but you've you've been playing right back a few games. Do you mind? Do you really mind where you're playing really this season? No, whatever the team needs, we play. I fill in whatever. Jordan has done the same. Um, Grant has done the same. So look, we've uh, versatility within uh, players. So whatever it takes to get the job done, we have to do it. Yeah, but like despite all that, we have a game in hand now, and we have a chance to go a point from the top coming into the two games here now. Yeah, look, we just take uh, the three points on the on the Friday of tomorrow, which is tomorrow. Where uh, we look at that first. Um, we are worried about the other games then coming down the line but tomorrow is a big win we need it because Sligo coming off a big win against Derry as well so they'd have their tails up so we need to be right at it from the very first minute yeah because Sligo are quite unpredictable this season you don't really know what you're going to get from them really yeah the last game we played they were took to the 88 minute and that might happen tomorrow um, they've uh, played some decent games of football as well with, with John Russell um, wanting to play a certain way and um, they've been inconsistent but when they're on it they're on it so we need to match them yeah, you were saying about the change to the squad this year. I'm sure Declan really appreciates having a leader to help that squad gel. Sometimes it can happen naturally, and to be fair, you don't have to force certain things. Um, lads get on well, you know, being around each other every day uh, it does help. Um, you know, lads going for coffees and afterwards and just getting to know each other does help. And at the start of the year it was always good, you know, winning, but then you re- you'd see the true side of people then when we're falling down a little bit. And that's when you have to get around each other and help each other a little bit more when things aren't going too well. Yeah, but we got six wins from our first seven games. That was always going to be hard to replicate, especially when there's so many get fixtures. Especially we have got Sligo this Friday and McCork on Monday. It's always hard to keep that up. Yeah, exactly. You know, it's like a few teams are going on a couple of runs for a few weeks. Fixtures might uh, suit some teams with three or four home games and stuff in a row, and that probably happened to us in the first round of games. You know, you see then the dog going on a bad run, then you see Pat's getting a few wins. So it's coming around circles. But hopefully now Friday's the beginning of it. As I said to you, we need to start fast to be able to get something out of the game. Alright, thanks. Good luck then.